so guys here are some of the snacks that I brought back now these are my favorites um, there are some oldies and some new ones so I just wanted to share with you guys you guys requested that I do my favorite snacks from Trinidad so here you have them I'm gonna go through them one at a time I'm gonna open the packet so you guys can see what it looks like some of them you may be familiar with because they are American substitutes that could compare to some of these so I'm gonna go through them one by one and I hope you guys enjoy so, so the first next. thing I want to start with is Ole. Now I prefer this in the barbecue flavor but today we have the extreme natural which is a cheesy flavor so let's open. So I would compare this Ole chips to a Dorito. Mm -hmm. Mark cheesy flavor but if you get the barbecue in this out of this will delicious. The next one is Cornados. Now I'm not a hundred percent a fan of it, but it's a popular one. Now these are shaped like little tornadoes, hence the name Cornados. So it's a corn snack that's shaped like a tornado. Here we have the popular cheese sticks. Now cheese sticks, different companies make them. So, this one is by Holiday Foods. Sunshine Snacks also has a good one also. Cheesy goodness. So let me ask you guys a question. How many of you eat the cheese stick, allow all of that orange coating to stick on your finger, and then you just, you just lick that and suck it off your finger? I'm telling you, as old as I am, and I'm in my 30s, and I'm a mother and a wife, I still do that because it's so good. Mmm. One chips. Now this is a hot and spicy flavor and it's actually my best flavor. It's another corn snack. Mm. But it tastes way different from an ole. But it's in the same family. Who remembers this chili balls this is so good now planters used to make a chili ball long a long long time ago they were the bomb so it's like um, it's like a cheese ball you would call this a cheese ball out here in the US but chili flavored and you can smell that chili okay the next item is the very popular big foot and it's shaped like a big foot hence the name big foot now this comes both in cheese and it comes in spicy so this is just the cheese okay is a healthy option the plantain chip mac and cheese one of their new inventions by holiday foods it's shaped like a swizzle elbow macaroni who remembers these jambi biscuits nibbles and this is a cherry flavored nibbles I love this so it's a cookie with cherries that flavor the cookie next item you guys are gonna love this one now it's for rough tops. Now we have the plain rough tops and then we have the coconut to drop rough tops. They taste different but both are really delicious. These contain coconut and raisins so it's like a drops and this one is more of a ginger flavored biscuit. Let me just open it so you guys can see. Now I do remember someone asking me if I can recreate rough tops and I'm I have so many recipes guys that I'm trying to give you all everything that you ask for it's just taking time and you call it a rough top because the top of the, the cookie or the biscuit it's rough now in the US we call these cookies in Trinidad we call it a biscuit in the UK it's referred to as a biscuit we adapted most of our names from the UK 
because we were once governed by them. Hmm. Guys, I like eating rough tops and drinking a cream soda soft drink. Out of this world delicious. Coconut drops version. You see those raisins in there? Next we have the popular chocolate digestive. Bourbon. Now there's bourbon and there's custard. These two are very, very old biscuits or cookies. This one is chocolate. This one is a custard flavor. Here we have the Shirley biscuit and this you can get it anywhere in the US. You see that nice design with that house that it has on it? Coconut shortcake. Now this comes in both regular shortcake and coconut flavored. I'm not going to open this one because it's just like a regular butter cookie and it tastes, it tastes that coconut flavor in it but it's really delicious. I think I need to make one of this for you guys. Take my butter cookie recipe, add some coconut flavor to it and we have coconut shortcake. Okay, next on my list, Dixie. Now this comes in three flavors also. There's this flavor, which is the guava. There's cheese and there's peanut butter. And when you're hungry and you have nothing to eat, you just need one of this and it's pretty filling. So, what it is, is it's a Dixie biscuit. Now, a Dixie biscuit is what we would call out here a Ritz cracker. And they would take two pieces of the biscuit and inside you would have that guava filling. And it's really delicious. So guys, next we have a packet of Jordan almonds. Now these are almonds that are covered in chocolate and then covered in a candy coating. They look, they look like little birds eggs. And they're great for weddings and for Easter. Here we have a butternut bar by Casey. One of their very popular candies. Now you can find my Casey video on my channel, so make sure and look for that. You get to see all of their products in one video, and then in another video I did a behind the scenes. So it's a butternut bar. Very buttery, very rich. Okay guys, the next one is one of my favorites that I always bring back. And it's for the small lunch. Now I say small because the small lunch tastes way better than the big lunch. And this lunch has a wafer inside with caramel filling and then it's coated with peanuts and then covered in chocolate. Next, Cocoa Crisp. It's a coconut filling with a rice on top covered in chocolate. Our next item is the Mustang. Now this is two pieces of chocolate biscuits or cookies that has a chocolate filling inside and is covered by chocolate. Now the catch is a caramel filled inside with rice on the outside and covered in chocolate. Next we have chairs and these are like M&Ms. Then we have ping pong and these are roasted peanuts covered in candy and then coated in chocolate. 
and we would call these covered chocolate covered peanuts so guys the next item is chuckles who loves chuckles as much as me these are the so it's like a rice crispy a round rice crispy that's covered in chocolate these are what we call tamron bowls now I'm not gonna open this this is a spicy dry tamron that you mix with brown sugar and some spices like hot peppers and bandania and garlic salt mix it all together it's gonna come together in a bowl and once you roll it in that bowl you're gonna roll it in some white sugar and you have tamarind bowls now the recipe for this can be found on my channel and it's a really good recipe the next item we have is a cake now this is called a goodie in the US it's called a Twinkie these are vanilla flavored but I like all of the cakes from Kiss in Trinidad I like the orange, the double orange, and I also like them with the icing. Now, if you guys know, a kiss cake in Trinidad tastes nothing like a kiss cake or a cupcake out here in the US. These are the best things you'll ever taste. So you guys that travel to Trinidad, if you've never had a kiss cake, these have icing on it. They come in pink and chocolate. You have to try it. They're really delicious. Next, we have a bobby. Who doesn't love a bobby? So guys, a bobby is a peanut that's coated in a lot of chocolate. There's a tiny peanut in there, but it's all coated or covered in chocolate. Okay, my next item is peanut gems. It's a smaller version to the Jordan almonds. Now these have peanuts in them. The Jordan almonds would have almonds in it. So it's very similar to a ping pong also. Just this one has this candy coating on the outside. Here I have a pack of choo choos. This is one of my favorites. It's a raisin that's coated and chocolate so it's a chocolate covered raisin and these are really delicious you can do a trinidad sweets or snacks haul which i was showcasing caramel now caramel isn't from trinidad but it's one of the most popular snacks it's also called tonox it comes from england london and it's one of the most popular snacks you can get now it's a caram it's a wafer with a caramel filling on the inside and then it's covered in chocolate. That's one of my favorites and I always bring back like an entire box. Okay, my next item is the noggle. It's caramel on the inside, covered in nuts and coated in chocolate. Did I show you guys the package? Here we have Tiki. Now Tiki comes in a lot of flavors. Vanilla, chocolate, coconut, hazelnut, you name it, you can find it. It's a wafer also. Doesn't have any caramel inside of the wafer, but it is covered in chocolate. Now these come in both the big and the small variety, and this is one of the big ones. This one is coconut flavor. If you guys ever thought, there's one called bongo which is this i think a tiki is a bongo that's covered in chocolate that's what it tastes like to me so as i have the bongo in my hand let me show you guys what it looks like next we have a tokoloko 
and I believe the Toko Loco is also a bigger version of the Tiki. Also has that wafer on the inside with a filling like either vanilla or chocolate coconut filling covered in chocolate. So here we have the plain cocoa. This is just like um, the Toko Loco just without that um, chocolate covering. Next is one of my favorites, which is the vanilla tiki. Now remember I just showed you all the big tiki. This is the smaller version. Next, we have twin. Now twin, when this came out, wool finger was right after. So twin is a pair of chocolate bars and the gold finger is wafers with chocolate over it but also in a pair. The twin comes in pure milk chocolate and with rice inside. Hence the reason why it's called a twin because it's soup. The gold finger is also two pieces but with that wafer inside. Next item is an Orion. Now this is rich milk chocolate with a creamy nougat or nougat filling. Guys, I have a recipe for nougat. I haven't had the chance to share it with you all. Tell you so many recipes I have for you all. This reminds me of a three musketeer. The popular pinola. This is a peanut granola bar that is covered in chocolate. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, we're almost at the finish line. So here I have one of my favorites and a lot of people would say this is not healthy. It's not good to eat this but it's for preserves and they come in the red version and they come in the chow version. I prefer the chow version. So this one is preserve plums. So it's soaked in a salty brine with some aromatics like um, garlic and then we have hot peppers, banana, salt and then there's the citric acid and other agents to help prolong the life of the fruit. So I absolutely love this. It's very delicious. The other item is also chow. It's the mango chow. And I have to say thank you to my um, my parlor lady for giving me these because she knows that I absolutely love these. And I usually get this, my friend Lisa, she usually buys this for me when I travel. So I always have it in bulk. Okay, last two items. Here we have, and yes, I opened the pack already. We have salt mango. It's mango that has been dried and then salted. It's a Chinese snack. It's really delicious. It's really salty. So you'll need to taste it before you just gobble it down because some can be really salty and some can be mild. And the last item, which is also in the same family as that mango, it's for salt prunes. It's a dried prune. It has the seed in it still. Some comes with the seeds, some comes without the seeds. And it's coated in this salty, red, salty powder. <laughs> if you remember going to primary school, you remember you used to live on these. Absolutely delicious. Now I want to share with you guys two other things that I travel and I can't do without. Like I always bring back these two items when I travel. And if you are a true Trini, you probably would be guessing what it is. No, it's two of my favorites. I can't live without. And it's for ketchup 
and pepper sauce. Lately, since I found out about Bertie's a couple of years now, thanks to my sister-in-law, I absolutely love Bertie's. It's one of the best pepper sauce on the market. It, it isn't like um, too artificial. It's very tasty and they have the scorpion pepper version and that one is really hot. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I recently went to IHOP and when I go to IHOP, I can't get pepper sauce. It's like you go to IHOP, you can't find pepper sauce. They give you Tabasco. That's not pepper sauce. So I actually, I, I would walk anywhere I go. I walk with pepper and I walk with ketchup. Even if I travel out of the country, not to Trinidad, but anywhere else, I walk with pepper and ketchup. It's a must. How many of you travel and actually walk with pepper and ketchup? Please leave me a comment down below. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this snack haul. Thank you again to my power lady back in Trinidad for giving me all of these snacks. She knows what I like. Now there are some that are missing and I want you guys to tell me what do you think should have been on this list. If I missed anything, I'll definitely have it for the next time I do a snack haul from Trinidad. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!